So when I got home, I snapped. I wasn't even planning to do any nails that day, but the ideas kept coming back to back out of nowhere. So I had to do these before I lost my train of thought. Because what I'm saying is, is I literally snapped. I made this a series because I did them all in one sitting, one right after another and another and another. I was in a flow that just wouldn't stop. And I know it was a natural flow because I never got tired. Hi everyone. Hey nail tubers. So this is my first video in the snap series. I explained it all in the last video, the one with the blooming gel alcohol inks. So when you finish this, I'll have a link below for you to check it out. Better yet, just watch this till the end and there'll be a link there. Now, I do have to apologize as I didn't realize I wasn't recording when I laid this first coat. But you know what? We just keep it moving from here, right? This series will be easy to do nail designs. So for this set, I'm using two colors from the Model 1's Secret Garden Collection. Now, just so you know, I've been mentioning in all my videos that I typically cure every layer of gel polish for at least 60 seconds. However, be sure to follow your manufacturer's recommendations as gel polish colors, brands, and densities will vary when it comes to curing. I am loving this yellow. It's just right. Not too bright and not too mustardy. Is that even a word? <laughs> Keep in mind also while you're watching this that these designs are not limited to only going on long stilettos like these. I just wanted a larger palette for art. You can do them on any size or shape nails. This series is intended to show you that you can charge extra for simple designs that don't take a lot of hard work but turn out looking so amazing. For two of the nails, I'll be using the cream color from the same collection. The cream color is so rich and beautiful, isn't it? Out of the collection of six, this color is the only one I didn't finish a set or design for yet because it had come time to call it quits for the evening by the time I did the other five. Much of this was explained in the Blooming Gel video, so be sure to watch it because the set that I did in that video turned out very pretty too. I do have something in mind for this color, but I'm still working on editing the videos of the sets that I have already done, and this color will definitely not miss being part of the series.
this set right here, this set right here, two simple, three yellow nails and two cream nails. That's it. I will be adding a few stripes that cross up two nails, then bling them out down the sides using yellow gems mixed with AB crystals. Nothing difficult at all. You know, this cream color puts me in the mind of a off-white cashmere coat dressed over an elegant, free-flowing outfit of the same color. I'm just always thinking rich, aren't I? <laughs> It is important for you to be okay with making mistakes. No one's work is 100% perfect all the time. You have to be able to keep the service moving along while making your corrections and your client not see you appear panicked. The couple things that happened with this set, the polish was actually cured all the way through and the troubleshooting I did managed to work. You really have to keep practicing so that you'll know how to make your corrections. If I were to wonder what would I have done differently, it would have been to make the stripes wider and more thinned out to give the appearance of a sheer ribbon wrapped up the nail like ribbons on a ballerina slipper. But I still love the way these turned out, especially after the bling. I really, really enjoy working with this Model 1's collection. These polishes are lightweight and so smooth and creamy. Now I wish I had have ordered the other collections. There's about four or five other ones with really, really nice colors. I'm going to have to go back on the website to see if the sale is still going. <laughs> I had to laugh at myself as I was doing this because the stones kept sliding down the nails and I had to keep going back and forth to catch them. <laughs> There was no particular rhyme or reason here, just mixing all different sizes in both types of stones, just creating a cluster going down the side. 
I love the way this is looking. If you happen to catch it, I only used the top finishes to adhere the crystals. This time I decided since they're only display nails, I would not create the mixture. What works really well for me is to mix a builder gel with a glossy top coat, and those gems will stay on for as long as you need. I am so happy with how these turned out. To me, they look so classy with just the right amount of bling. Don't you agree? Well, that's it for today's video and thank you so much for watching. Remember, this is the first color out of the six from the Model 1 Secret Garden Collection. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss the next ones coming up in the series. Thank you.